Morning peeps, we're gonna read. This is by E.G. White. The verse for today is Proverbs 18, 24. A man who finds friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. The Lord has not left you to yourself. He is looking upon you with tender compassion. His spirit still strives for the mastery over the powers of darkness. If you will come to Christ hungry and thirsty for bread and water of life, the power of an abiding Christ will break down the harsh, cold selfishness, which is the opposite of sympathy. Christ is knocking at the door of your heart, asking for admittance. Shall he knock in vain? Will you refuse him entrance? Or will you welcome him as an honored guest? Do not refuse to admit him, for the love of Jesus is of more value to you than the whole world. Its length, its depth, its height, its breadth, breadth cannot be estimated. It opens and expands the heart, giving it a new capacity for loving God. The calls and invitations made in the Bible means all that the strongest language can express. The Lord is anxious for you to return to him. He knows that you need him and he needs you, for he says, ye are my witnesses. You do yourself a serious wrong when you turn your face from the living God. Fear not to make a full and decided consecration of yourself. Cast yourself without reserve on the grace of Jesus Christ. You will find there that there is no compassion like that of the infinite purity. Under his control, you will appreciate the goodness, long-suffering, and self-sacrificing love of God and will reveal it to the world. You may think that no one really understands your case, but there is one who is acquainted with every circumstance of it. He knows that you have no strength or wisdom of your own, that you not, do not even understand your own necessities, and he has promised to keep you from falling, and in that promise you may rely. At times you may feel like weeping because you have lost your joy and hope in the Lord. But Christ says to you, open the door of your heart and let me in. He is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And to him you may tell every trial, every sorrow, every need. He will teach you many things above price of gold or silver and give you peace and joy. I love that for a ton of reasons, but I have the best brother. I'm gonna just put that out there. Um, the brother has taken extreme good care of me and I am so very grateful because I'm not sure I could handle life some days without him. So when I think of a friend sticking closer to a brother, closer than a brother, that's an amazing feat for me and I am so grateful that Christ does that. He's there for me every single day. Amazing, isn't it? I think so. I did not get my book out. It's still put away. <laughs> I got my book, peeps. Good morning, Heavenly Father. Thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to this world so that he knows how to relate to us and understand us and stick closer than a brother. I'm lifting up my peeps, Lord, the ones in the book and the ones that aren't in the book. You know their needs, and they need that brotherly love from Jesus Christ also. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.